Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on multiplication by hand of whole numbers. All right, so this is uh, just uh, an image of times tables, and that's one of the things if you're having to do math by hand, um, you need to know your times tables. In fact, whether you're doing it by hand or not, you need to know your times tables. It really helps when you're working with um, with questions, All right? And especially if you're not being uh, not able to use a calculator, so you can download one from the internet, or typically, yeah, that's where you can get it. So just try that. All right. So multiplication of numbers. So, and right now what I'm dealing with is whole numbers. There will be a video eventually on decimal numbers as well. So here we have 31 times 5. So what you do here is you set it up like this. So 31, and you put, and, and normally what I do is I put the smaller number on the bottom uh, because it just makes it a little easier. So we take 5 and multiply it by the 1 and that gives us 5, so we put the 5 down here. Then we take 5 and multiply it by the 3, and that gives us 15, so then we put the 15 here, and that would be our answer. All right. Now let's talk about this question where each, each uh, number is two digits. All right. So we have 63 times 27. So the first thing you do is you start with this digit, all right? We start with this digit and we multiply it by the 3, and then we multiply it by the 6, all right? So we'll take the 7, multiply it by the 3, and that gives me 21. So the 1 goes down here, and the 2 goes above the 6. Then I take the 7, multiply it by the 6, which is 42, and I add the 2, which gives me 44. Okay. Now what I do is I take the 2 and multiply it by those two numbers again. All right. So 2 times 3 is 6. Now, the 6 goes below this digit. All right. So we step over to the left 1 and the 6 goes down here. Then we take the 2 and multiply it by the 6 and that gives us 12. And we don't worry about this 2 here because the 2 was for this top piece. So the 2 times the 6 gives us 12 and the 12 goes here. All right. Now what we do is draw a line and we add our numbers up. So essentially we have a zero here, which we don't really see, but we do see it if we pencil it in, okay? And we have one plus zero, which is one, four plus six, which is 10. So the zero goes down here and the one goes up beside the four. So now we have four, five, six, seven, and a one. So then the answer to this question would be 1701. All right. Now, if you want, you can pause the video and try these questions, and then I'll walk through them. Or you can just uh, watch. All right, so 382 times 95. Now we're, now we're getting into big numbers, which is always frustrating sometimes. So 382 times 95. So 5 times 2 is 10. So the 0 goes down here, and the 1 goes above the 8. 5 times 8 is 40, and then we add the 1, so we get 41. So the 1 goes down here, and the 4 goes above the 3. 5 times 3 is 15, and we add the 4, and that's 19. Okay. Now we take the 9, multiply it by the 2, and that gives us 18. Now the 8, again, we move over 1, and the 8 goes below the 1. 
Now it was 18, and so we do the multiplication here. We get the 18, and the, and the 1 goes up here. So now we take the 9 multiplied by the 8. We get 72. We add the 1, and that's a 73. So the 3 goes down here, and the 7 goes above the 3. 9 times 3 is 27. We add the 7, and we get 34. So that goes here. And remember, the 4 goes underneath the 1. At this point, we add it up, so we end up with a 0, 9, 9 and 3 is 12, so the 2 goes down here, the 1 goes up here. That's a 6, and that's a 3. Oh, and that's supposed to be a 0. All right. Now, a question with zeros in it. I'm going to put this up over here. So 1, 0, 8, 6, and 4, 0, 3. So 3 times 6 is 18, 8 goes here, the 1 goes there. 3 times 8 is 24, add the 1, we have 25. So 5, and we carry the 2. 3 times 0 is 0, and we add the 2, and we end up with a 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Now the next thing we need to multiply is the 0. So the 0 times 6 is 0. So the 0 goes here, and remember we move 1 over, so the 0 goes here. 0 times 8 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. And 0 times 1 is 0. So we just have a bunch of zeros, but you have to put them in. You can't skip them, okay? Now, 4 times 6 is 24. Now the 4, again, we keep moving over. So we moved over 1 here, and we moved over 1 here. So the 4 goes here, all right? And let me remind myself what we're doing here. 4, that's a 24. 4 goes down there, and the 2 goes above the 8, all right? 4 times 8 is 32. We add 2, that's 34. The 4 goes here and 3 goes above the 0. 4 times 0 is 0, and we add the 3, and that gives us 3. 4 times 1 is 4, so the 4 goes here. Okay, So now we add, and again we're adding straight down. And also when you're doing these things, being really clear about making sure that they're all lined up. Because when they're not lined up and you try to add them up, you're going to end up with an error. So here we have 8, 5, 6, 7, 3, 4. There you go. Now we can see that the, the question, sometimes it helps to just stop and say, is this reasonable? We can see that the question, this number is approximately 1,000. This number is approximately 400. So our answer should be around 4 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. 1, 2. Okay, so there we are. So 4 and 5 places. So this is a reasonable answer, right? Okay, and that has been brought to you by Wise Guys. Have a super day.